How do you get a faded look in your videos like this? Or in your photos like this? Well, the quickest and easiest way to do it is by buying my preset pack, link below. Just a joke, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. Not a joke, buy my preset pack. So if you want to apply this effect to a photo, the first thing you gotta do is open up a photo in your editor. This could be Photoshop, Lightroom, whatever. I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in Capture One in a second, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you've got one of these, one of these in your editing software. This is a tone curve. You've probably seen this before. So what this does is, uh, well, all these wavy bits kind of shows you the tones in your image. You've got an x-axis and a y-axis. So if you move along from the left to the right on your x-axis, you've got your blacks kind of represented in this area. You've got your shadows, you've got your mid-tones, yeah, highlights and whites right at the top. And if you move along the y-axis from the bottom to the top, you've got um, darkness at the bottom, brightness at the top. If this was a representation of an actual image, that photo would have uh, a lot of highlights and mid-tones, because you can see like all the, uh, the, the wavy bits, all the, the bits are in the kind of mid-tone area. Yeah. So you can change your shadows and highlights and whatever by putting custom points along this this line along this curve anywhere you like. Say for example we put a point here in the mid-tones. To make the mid-tones darker what we would do is just drag this down or to make the, make the mid-tones brighter we'd drag it up. In this case to get that faded effect what we're gonna be working on primarily will be our blacks down here and we want to take our blacks and kind of drag them up to make them brighter, to make them make them more flat and less contrasty. And then we might want to make our mid-tones and highlights a little bit darker as well. So we'll end up with a kind of U-shaped curve like that. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'm in Capture One here and I've got a picture of my, my son sitting on a rock. Yep, that's a boy. He doesn't want his hair cut um, and yeah, I want to respect his choice on that matter. So the first thing I'm going to do to create this faded effect, before before even doing that effect, I'm just going to adjust all my other kind of settings. going to adjust the exposure a little bit on this one, it's slightly overexposed. I uh, might bring the saturation up just a tiny bit. It looks a little bit too yellowish, so I'm going to... Just lower the white balance slightly. Uh, that's a bit too blue. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, I think. And what else? What else? Highlights, bring them down a little bit with these sliders. We bring the shadow up slightly. And yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So now I'm going to get to work with my tone curve down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, the point down here in the lower left corner. I'm just going to move it up. So now you can see it's already getting quite quite washed out, but it's a bit too bright now. So I'm going to find my mid-tones around here and kind of uh, gonna add another point and drag them down a little bit there maybe I'm gonna move the shadows down a little bit as well actually I'm gonna take the blacks down slightly again move the shadows a bit and I think I'm probably going to create a bit of an S curve so I'm going to lift the highlights up a little bit so I want quite a subtle smooth looking kind of S curve here 
I can lift the plug up a bit more. Yeah. A little bit too contrasty still. Maybe the fraction. This one up. Lift this up a bit more. And this one too. Okay, so this is quite faded. Um, maybe a little bit too much, I think. So I could adjust the curve a little bit more. Actually, I think that the contrast was the issue here. It was too contrasty. There. Yeah, I think this looks good. Maybe it's a little bit overexposed still. So rather th than adjusting that with the curve, I'm just going to use the slider up here to make it a little bit darker. And I've got a contrast slider here, maybe bring that up a little bit. All right. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Another thing I will do sometimes, especially with a shot like this where there's a, um, an outdoor shot where there's lots of green, green vegetation, grass, whatever, I will go and adjust the greens. So in Capture One, uh, we've got these uh, color wheels, three-way color wheels, and we've got the sliders as well. So. I think I'm just going to work with the sliders. I'm going to select green and I'm going to desaturate the greens a bit and change the hue slightly as well. Maybe a bit more yellowish or more greenish. I think slightly more yellowish and the, perhaps this is too saturated. Sorry, too desaturated, I mean. Maybe around there is pretty good. So yeah, I think that's it. That looks that looks pretty good. Um, so I was doing this in Capture One. You can do this in Lightroom, Photoshop, it doesn't really matter as long as you've got the, the tone curve that you can mess around with. It's it's all very, very touch and feel. You, you kind of get the, the hang of it after a few tries. So let's have a look at the before and after. Before after so this is uh, this is really taking this effect to the extreme I think it's a bit too desaturated and uh, faded for my liking but um, I don't know maybe maybe you like this kind of thing this is what you want to do this is how you how you can do it okay next up video so if you want to do this in a on a video it's the ex exact same thing so I've jumped into DaVinci Resolve and I'm looking at uh, a clip from this video you're actually watching. Whoa, meta. Right, so this is uh, I've reset the tone curve on on this particular clip. I've got all my other color color corrections, uh, color grading. I've got all that already done. The only thing I've done here is uh, I've reset the tone curve. So I'm going to create a faded look on on this clip by doing the exact same thing. I go into the color panel. I find my curves and I lift up the uh, the lower lower left point here to make it a bit faded. Then I adjust the shadows, kind of bring them down slightly. Whoa, too much. And I'll just set a few more points along the curve here to create a an S curve, just to preserve a bit of contrast, but at the same time get this faded look. There we are. All right. If you found this helpful at all, please hit the like button and I will see you again in the next video.